we actually knew each other years ago. Um, we've met at parties and never quite, never quite got there. Uh, became friends. The friendship didn't last long. Uh, we just enjoyed each other's company too much. The proposal, he made a special box on my birthday and... Uh, a photo flower bomb sort of thing. I opened this box and it was all these beautiful photos that just kept opening and opening and opening and then in the middle was the ring. Um, it was really great and I couldn't get the words out. I tried to propose and I'm a blubberer. So it's more just crying. He was on one knee with the kids running around. Um, and he just started crying. <laughs> <laughs> the whole time, but she knew what I meant. And said like, will you marry me? No, she loved it. The thing I love most about Nicole is her fire and passion. It, uh, it gets me out of bed in the morning. It's brilliant. Uh, she's amazing. She's true, she's honest, fierce. Um, yeah, she's perfect. Today I've got, I'm nervous as hell. I was fine this morning. <laughs> I was really good. And uh, yeah, just, I'm feeling the nerves now. But it's all just excitement. I can't wait to get out there. Today I'm feeling anxious, <laughs> but very, very excited. Long time coming. <laughs> When I see her come down the aisle today, I already know what I'm going to do. If I hold it together, it's not going to work. Everyone's going to have a giggle. It's going to be good. <laughs> I 
bloody hope that he cries when I walk down there. <laughs> They've been together for seven years after finally meeting as adults, as their paths have crossed as teenagers without knowing. Now, as with all great relationships, Chris and Nicole say their constant childish humour and poking fun at each other makes them laugh and keeps them on their toes, just as it should. Nicole, you are my best friend and everything to me. You are my rock and keep me grounded. You are my blanket to keep me warm and safe. Most of all, you are my beacon of light, leading me home, which is anywhere we can be together. I love your passion, bravery, honesty, and to the death, loyalty. The way you're able to lay it all out there, take it or leave it, is something I am in awe of and drives me in everything I do. I love the way our sense of humour mirror each other perfectly. A humour that some would be disgusted with, to be honest. <laughs> I love and admire your resilience most of all. Things you have seen, done and been through would have darkened others and has only made you a better person. And with that, you are my hero. I stand here today and should promise to eat with my mouth closed, stay off your side of the bed, bring all of our cutlery home from work and clean my facial hair from the bathroom sink. But I won't promise these things. What I do promise to you is to be kind, fair and honest with you. I promise to be patient and forgiving and loyal to a fault. I vow to give you all of me to keep and love you like every day is my last. I want to thank you for making me a better person, showing me what true love means. And thank you for our three beautiful children, Ruby, Rihanna and Raina. With you four in my corner, I can't lose. You once told me to live in the moment. And in this moment, all I see is you. Chris. Well, here we are, the day I've been waiting four years, uh, seven years, four months to finally happen. My whole life I've wanted love like I share with you, and seven years ago when you walked into my life, I found it. In your arms, I have found my comfort. In your eyes, I have found, my passion, found passion. In your heart, I have found true love. You are my world, my absolute everything. Chris, I love you for so many reasons. I love you for your strength, commitment, integrity, loyalty, kindness, selflessness, especially your humour, and being the best father to our children. Sorry. I love you for understanding me like no one else can, for all your quirks, for everything that you are and that you continue to be. Because of you, I laugh, I smile, I dare to dream more than ever before. You push me to be the best version of myself, accept my flaws and love me wholeheartedly. I promise to you that each stage of life we move through together, I will appreciate you, respect you, randomly throat chop you back, <laughs> and always grab your butt in inappropriate places. <laughs> I promise to comfort you when the Broncos lose, or when Australia loses to the All Blacks, as per usual. I promise to let you win the occasional argument, even though I'm always right. I promise to love you almost as much as I love junk food. If we face times of struggle and hardship, you can depend on me to support and protect you no matter what the cost. I promise to love you in good times and in bad with all that I have to give. I love you so much. Yeah, the spark in Clarkins. <laughs> Chris, you may now kiss your beautiful wife.